to, and we're back with more Bloodborne. We're here at Old Yarnum, trying to get past this dude. And I think what I'm gonna do is I need I need more uh I need ammo. We don't have any ammo at all. Oh. I keep remembering the damn uh, monster hunter controls. Found some tempered blood gemstone. That's not what I was looking for. It is good to know we've leveled up enough to kind of take these dudes on in groups. Okay, so that's just a corpse. So there's the hunter who's uh, gonna fire on us. And I'm guessing instead of actually taking him on, we're supposed to do something else. love that fade attack. That is some good fade attack right there. So we need to actually buy ourselves more uh, more ammo, which I think is kind of dopey. The very least make ammo a little easier to find. Getting the right level of lighting ain't easy when you don't have a, uh... There we go. I'm like a dumbass there. I'm so used to Monster Hunter's, uh, control layout, which I think is a lot better. 240? Per bullet? That's... That's dumb. So now I, I've got to, like... I think that's just really bad. <laughs> Guess we'll buy seven bullets. I didn't really think that whole aspect of it through, it seems to me. If bullets are a vital component to the gameplay mechanics, you actually have to, like, make it easier to obtain them. And they don't make it easy to obtain uh, stuff that you need specifically. Like, there's no other way to parry in this game. You can't parry with the shield, so you need to have bullets. So at the very minimum, bullets should cost, like, maybe 20 souls per bullet. Otherwise, I think you're just kind of being cheap. And... I, I kind of feel it's unfair the way it is designed. So even though so far I have very few complaints about the game, that will be my main one. Alright, so these guys are very easy. We just gotta attack. We got a faint attack, or fate attack rather, come back, and then Oop. nope. All right, there we go. Kind of, I got out of rhythm there. So there's another dickhead just hanging out over there. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Gonna come in, and now we do the double swing. Ooh, 
What a dick. Gonna try to go for as much as many souls as we can get. Ooh, that was close. He almost got an attack out. Because we're not getting enough. We're not getting that many souls to begin with. Blood, blood echoes. They're blood echoes. Shut up. We're not getting that many blood echoes to begin with. Which absolutely makes it very difficult. Very difficult to stock back up after you've used your stuff. That's something to keep a watch out for. So what I'm going to try doing with these guys is doing more fade attack, strong. There we go. So it's a fade attack, an overhead, an overhead, and that pretty much takes out that dude. So those guys aren't super, super hard. They are tricky, though. Okay. So now it's just getting into this safe spot over here. Okay, there's another hunter nearby. Oh! Where are you going? You running off? You done? It's had enough, I think. Did he, I guess he de-aggroed? Wait, I hear him. What a tricky little shit. So there's lots of areas we can go. This dude wants to fight. Ow. So he's gonna, he's gonna be coming back and forth. So let's see if we can't get, yeah, here he comes. He's gonna be a little tricky to get with this, uh... Ah! Are these just, like, hunters? Got him! And I fucked it up. That, that, that... I was right in front of him. I should have had that. That should have absolutely have counted. I am very unhappy with that. This is very annoying. So I think he's gonna come back and do a shot. Oh, come on. See, this is boring. Like, it, it's just running in and out of its space. Which is dull. Just have it come down and fight me. Why is it doing this? This is super boring. Come on and have the thing fight me. I get it now, come on! This is dumb! Let's go! Alright, fuck this. This is this is really bad. That is horribly designed. You need to fix that shit. If it's if it's aggroed on me, have it just fucking come and fight me. Really. Okay. Oh! Oh shit! file. Come on, dude. Ooh, he's a bigger dude. 
And he's got some speed there, too. I can't take him out like my usual, these other dudes. That didn't look good. Saw some red eyes there. Okay. He just falls down to overheads just as, as easily as the others. Alright, we're getting our blood vials back up. There's a door over there, but I don't want to do that yet. So we need to find a way to take down that hunter, who is very clearly over our level. We do not have the strength to take him out yet. Oh! God, there's a bunch of them around here, huh? Okay, I can't do that. Um, so where does that leave us? What's going on down there? Oh, uh, this, this is not good. This is extremely not good. Got a bunch of enemies aggroed on us in here. Hey, Burger Gamer, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Uh, there's no way I can handle all of these dudes. gonna try doing uh, sweeping strikes. Fuck off! Then how am I supposed to do this? That's such fucking bullshit. So they have a, a gigantic aggro range, which is ridiculous and stupid. This is giving me a headache already. That first area was well done. This area is absolutely poor in, in design. There's no room to really adapt to anything. There's way too many enemies. And way too many quick enemies. Um, I don't know. It's just, I'm not liking this area at all. See, that's, that's ridiculous. What happened to that? It's regular recovery. Really. Whatever. Try not to get too pissed off about it, but it is it is really not a well designed section, I would say. Oh, that's right. I'm using the wrong strategy on them. I'm supposed to be doing a fade attack with the uh, the horizontal strike. That's why. That's what I was doing wrong. Okay. Getting a lot of notifications here. So now we gotta clear these guys out one by one. Damn it! How did I get so far out of Fuck off! 
I don't know how I'm getting so far out of range. I'm going back the exact same amount I normally do. Because there's a very different uh, type of attack we do. Like, the beginning area was really just... You could refill all of your stuff, and now it's impossible to refill your... Uh, your used items. Okay, so that attack can work. There we go. So this is who we gotta do with him. Except he was just out of range. That was close. That was breaking right down on him. <sighs> okay. So there's the gunman. Okay, so they're just, it's just hunters. Okay, so this is just gonna be a gigantic pain in the ass section, isn't it? Oh my god, what is this crap? This is awful! This is horrible. So everywhere I go, it's just like a bunch of enemies. What is this nonsense? Did I just stumble into a, a late game area by accident? What is this shit? This doesn't feel like a uh, uh, the area I'm supposed to be in. This feels like an area meant for like later, just based on the sheer amount of enemies and random shit happening. Gatlin dickhead is all the way up there still. And dying doesn't replenish anything, which is e extremely bullshit. Because then how are you supposed to actually keep playing? Ah, uh, sucks. I don't, I don't like this at all. I think this is really boring. Yeah, this is super boring. This is an early- this is bullshit! This is horribly designed! There's no way through any of this! I'm not leveled up for this, what am I supposed to do? Over-level myself? I can't take out the, uh, the Gatlin guy because he's too high level. I can't fight in any of these areas because they have, like, five million enemies just sitting there. Like, no thought was put to this area, the amount of enemies, or the actual areas you fight them in. This is terrible. 
I've all, I've completely lost all interest in playing this just because of this area. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong or is this just bad? Because that first area was really cool. I dug that first uh, stuff a lot. This, I think, is absolutely awful. I'm going through the area backwards? I don't know anything about this because, again, you know, the big things about Souls games is that, you know, there's no major direction. It's to kind of, you know, figure your way through it, which is cool. I'm fine with. But my problem here is, again, it's now it's not being consistent at all, which is starting to absolutely get on my nerves. I guess we're new new strategy is to just keep fade attacking because now they're not they're not attacking the way they normally do which is normally I should be able to get off two hits after my fade attack now they're just like doing extra attacks like not extra attacks they're quicker for some goddamn reason and I'm glad that it got an extra attack off on me there fuck you I expect consistency in games, and when it doesn't happen, it actually gets me very angry. And I'm noticing a lot of inconsistency already. The fact that these guys have such a large aggro range is completely ridiculous, and definitely should be fixed. But it's not going to be, because, I mean, this game's out, it's done. They're done uh, working on it. jumped down to where the ladder was and went through all this enemies you were taking the path back to the start of the area all right oh come on he doesn't have that much I don't have any health like I'm not getting any health items I'm getting very frustrated with this because it's just it's stronghold it's not strong it's choking me this game is just choking. Because I don't have the money to buy the, uh, the items. So I'm running out of them, and I'm not finding many enemies that drop the items. Like, at the very minimum, it should, I should get my, uh, files and ammo back when I die. Very minimum, that's what it should be. Hey, wait a minute, I don't remember this. I missed this before. But the fact that it forces me to buy my stuff is very, very shitty. Oh god, what's happening? Alright. I think it's just because I'm so used to the Souls... Souls-ish games where all that stuff is regenerated upon death. As opposed to regular RPGs. Where you do have to... Buy buy those items. So maybe I should start thinking of this less as a Souls game and more like more like an old school RPG. So let's see here. Fear Trap. Alright, I see a skelly boy. We found our way, way into a new area. Okay, let's get this, uh, this crap head over here. Or not? Okay, come on. Oh. Alright. 
That worked out fairly well. Blood vial cap is dumb, absolutely. Yeah, brick guys do the, the soul, the blood vials. The other thing that's bugging me is quicksilver bullets. I said this, I think, in my previous one. And I am trying to calm myself down and focus more on the game and give it, give it a little bit of fair shake. Um, the other thing that bugs me is uh, quicksilver bullets being the only way to parry. Now, if it was done in such a way where you could replenish bullets a little bit easier, I'd be fine with it, because it is a unique mechanic, it's not that bad. Um, wow, that's that's actually a pretty cool attention to detail, look at that, my, my one leg is up on the boards and the other is through them. That's pretty cool. Well, yeah, that, I mean, that gives you bullets from, uh, health, but that's still stupid. Like, you know, don't give me the bullets, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? See, that's stupid. That is just dumb. I get it. There's a jackass with a Gatlin gun that I can't kill because you overpowered him. That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> I hate this area. I think this is absolutely... This is this game's flight town. Just an unfairly designed, nonsensical area that could have been done a million times better. Alright, we're going to power through this because I intend to beat this, this fucking game. Central Yarnum's easily the best area so far. This is terrible. I stand firmly by it. So now they're switching up their pattern. So I gotta just do fade, fade attacks until it dies. They give adept blood gemstones. There better not be a worse area than this, because this is pretty bad. Okay, how did he hit me? I was in the middle of an attack! Defo call bullshit on that. So, that uh, dodge attack, it's not technically a fate attack, is it? Because I can do it from any direction. Now, that is extremely effective against these guys. Alright. Yeah. Getting our, getting our Bloodborne legs back. A bit of a whiny start to it, I guess, but... Smack you, don't do that. Wow, are we actually... Oh, alright. I didn't know he had my blood echoes. I w That wasn't even in the area that we died, but alright. So where's that other... There he is, there's Cloak Boy. See how they're doing those slow attacks now? But sometimes, they, instead of doing that slow attack... Ooh, that was stupid of me. Sometimes, instead of doing the slow attack, they'll do a quick strike. That was really a dumb idea. Alright. Okay, so are we... I don't think we're supposed to drop down to that one area. Is there a spot where we can drop down and not take a shitload of damage? Like, I don't think I'm supposed to drop down in the middle there. Ooh. So, heavy strikes not on the menu for these dudes. Bad, bad decision to try to do heavy strikes on them. So, I don't think we're supposed to go through that section... I think we're supposed to... Oh. Okay. Oh. So it helps to actually pay attention to the environment, doesn't it? Um, alright.
wonder why he doesn't aim at the monster. Since that's, like, the bad thing. Okay, so this is another way in. Whoa. This is another way in here. So that, those stairs are the way we're supposed to go down. I've been doing this section completely fucking wrong. So hopefully people will watch past the first 30 minutes and realize, hey, he figures it out. He was doing it wrong. Come here. I want to fight you. Ah! No. No! 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 There's the other one. Wow. Come on. Uh, can we please be done with this, this section? I hate that. I hate that that is allowed to hit me. Even though he was done with his attack animation. So it looks like the attack actually is at the end of the... The end of that claw, and it's it still counts for that entire animation. When you walked in, he said, go the fuck away. This place is sealed off and monsters won't hurt anyone here. Yeah, but you could still kill them. He could, like, contribute. Okay, I see. He could still see us from there. So we got antidote. Whoa, okay. I really wandered into that one. Alright, let's see here. So he's still got a he's still got line of sight, but not quite from there. Alright, what do we got going on in this room? Seem pretty safe here. It's okay, we're in some kind of a Oh shit! Damn it! Uh, I really need fucking blood vials. I mean, I, I've already fought him, and, like, I'd rather not get any spoilers. Um, just if I start getting too stuck on stuff, I'm gonna end up asking for help, because I hate this area. Like, I absolutely don't like it at all. Okay, now we're back out there. Hunter, Lure is effective. So, am I supposed to go through there, or maybe we go through here? Okay, we can't go through here. That's just for an item. Okay, so there's a monster here that we took, and there was two over here. Just, I just need to grab the attention of some of them. That one's too far away. Oh, shit. There we go. Alright, that's one down. So far, so good. 
all about divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. So I see two. Two cloaked, or two robed enemies. And that Gatling gun has ridiculous range and rotation. Alright, so we've, okay, so that's what we were supposed to do, we were supposed to come, oh. There's this jack, jackass coming up, but he's not going to do shit. <sighs> okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, God, how am I supposed to do this then? What is the direction I'm actually supposed to go? Am I supposed to cut through that? I wonder. Okay, so let's get him coming at us. So that's been resolved. There's there's one of them. Oop. So the interesting thing is because of their attacks, I can actually uh Whoa, hey, go away. If you're not going to fight me, fuck off and dance around over there, you silly dipshit. There we go. Okay. Oh, that was real close. Actually, I have an idea. Is it able? To, am I able to cheese this dude over here? But this guy's a... Um, this dude is a full-on hunter. So I can't do much... What? That is so fucking stupid looking. Whoa. Okay, I can't cheese him because he can also hit me. So, probably not the best idea. Oh, is that it? Fear Madman. Oh, shit! Alright, I'm at a loss now. I genuinely have no clue how I'm supposed to take the rest of this section. And that is really absolutely getting on my my nerves, this this dude. Cause it's not the AI is not coming to fight. So we'll just ignore him because he's an idiot. Okay, there's an enemy right up there. But it doesn't aggro until we aggro these guys. There he goes. And the hunter is still, like, coming after me, which is really stupid. We're going to ignore that side path. Okay, so there's a nice jab attack in there, too. 
And it does not want to fight me. This guy does, though. This AI is weird. All right, well, they're finally getting some blood vials back. So we're not gonna go that other way. We're gonna go this way. I was duped into thinking that other way led to an item. So it looks like we can actually get down. Oop. All right. I don't see any 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 dudes. I think they're underneath still. Ooh, hey. I can't see what's happening. Uh, can you let me go? How many? God. All right. Okay, now we're just cheating for the sake of cheating. That's fucking fun. Jesus Christ. Rain the fucking aggro range in. Jesus. This is getting obnoxious. First of all, don't make sections where you have to avoid, like, a wide range of gunfire from a random faraway spot. That's just dumb. I can't think of anybody that actually enjoys sections like that. This isn't an action game. This isn't, you know, some Tom Cruise bullshit. You know, take that shit out. Um... If you're gonna have me fight a bunch of monsters, then make the combat work with a bunch of monsters. As a, as it stands, this game is basically, you can only hold your ground if there's... If there's like a... If there's like one or two monsters. I hate this section. I think it's really boring. The first section was fun. It really set the game up nice, and, you know, the father gets going was an awesome fight. This, I feel, is just, like, it's like slamming your head against a wall repeatedly, and I've never liked that. Is it stuck? Looks like it's stuck. Oh, it's not. Thank you. I I think without the Gatlin Gatlin dude, this section would at least be a little more uh, tolerable. But as is, I think it's the enemies that they placed are very obnoxious, and the locations that they place them are doubly obnoxious. It'd be like having an entire section of the crows, in my opinion. But in any case, we will persevere. Ah, I'm not even paying attention. I was looking at... Looking at other things. That's on me. Ooh. I really lucked out there not taking that last hit. get grabbed because then he does that terrible poison shit. 
Ooh. We're able to interrupt that attack. That was nice. So he's gonna do... No? Because there's two explosives. There we go. Thank you. Ah, I got stuck on the doorway. There's more explosives. Here. Come fight me. There we go. Okay. So I think we've cleared this room. And there's the other explosion. There we go. Oop. Let's not go there. antidote okay so there's gonna be two two qu quick uh, fighters here right yep there's one oh god there's two of them right there I thought there was okay don't fucking pull that bullshit on me me around. Fuck off. Ah, I was out of, out of, uh, stamina. That was a real dumb decision on my part. Okay. The fuck did he go? Get back here. Uh, definitely shouldn't have any kind of range here. I'm gonna say that much. Oh, alright, so I can do a leaping attack. Uh, with. I can't do it with the vertical hit, but the horizontal one comes with a sort of a leap attack there. Okay, there's a couple too many. Broke their aggro. So there's at least three of them hanging out in that area. So the question remains, how do we get only one of them? There's one walking around, but I can't see him. Okay, you can't shoot through the tree. Can shoot there. Ah! Now 
Now they do attack fast, but they are not super hard to outmaneuver. Come on, fucker. Okay, for some reason he was able to shoot through there, that time. Doesn't look like that other hunter has uh, activated yet. Activated. Oh no, he's gone. All right. Hey, Namira, the sorcerer. Thank you for the host. Oh, there he is. He wasn't there before. There we go. Trying to get him to do his attack. Well, I guess he, he'll just have to die that way then. Randomly get our blood echoes back. Like literally, that was not the enemy that killed me. I don't know what determines which gives, which ones take the blood echoes, but. All right. So there's this guy here. No? Hey, wait a minute! No! No, no, no! Bullshit! Oh, good. So now there's... Now there's these fucking things. What the fuck is this bullshit?! No, I call bullshit. This is absolutely not fucking fair. There's no fucking way to do this. There should not be this many fucking enemies active at one fucking time. I'm not fucking near them. I'm not fucking near them. There's literally no fucking reason that that should have happened. So fuck you. No, fuck you. There, I wasn't near them. There's no reason for them to have been active, let alone aggroed on me. Come the fuck on already. At least make this section playable. And it's not. This is not playable. Don't put that many enemies in if it's going to be impossible to fight them. I mean, seriously. At the very minimum, if you're going to have them be uh, this numerous, then you absolutely have to lower their aggro range. Them being aggroed on me when I'm an entire floor up and they can't even fucking see me is absolute bullshit. So now I gotta do this crap all over again. I don't even need to dodge back, they don't seem to be, uh... They don't seem to do that lunge attack. So he's not stuck this time. There he goes. There's that quick attack that you gotta watch out for. They don't always do that, which is annoying.
Because these guys have the largest aggro range. That time I definitely... Ah! He's getting a little feisty. And these are very mundane enemies. The fact that he can take off almost half my health is kind of super crap. Again, it's little things. Like, you know, you gotta pick and choose which enemies have, like, high damage. Out like, the dudes with the bricks, yep, I can see that being high damage uh, output. And you don't want to get hit. These guys? No. No. They're already doing poison. They're already trying to stack poison. You don't give them a half health kill, too. Not a kill, a hit. How did I pull off a three combo on that guy? I mean, don't get me wrong, there are definitely parts of the first section I didn't enjoy, but this is. This is a fucking slog. One thing I definitely need to start doing is paying more attention to my actual stamina bar. Because I really don't do that. And I think that's that's something that's kind of coming back to bite me in the ass, too. And I would think that explosion should kill these guys. Like, they take no damage from his attacks, which doesn't make any sense to me. Like, even if he is here to, uh, just not fight them, and he's just aimed after me, it makes zero sense. There we are. That's good use of- ow. I was- that was interesting, all right. Okay, so there's two here. Oh, and they both went active. Crap. Oh man, that was that was actually pretty good. Hmm. There we go. Ah, damn it. Ah. That was totally my fuck up. I thought I could pull off that, uh, charged attack and I absolutely could not so why does that thing run away that's so annoying maybe I can rush through there Wait a minute. No, no, no. No and fucking no. Absolutely not. Fuck you. Ugh. There's just not enough healing items. And not enough ways to get them without uh, grinding for currency. There 
Where's the guy that drops down? Or did I take him out? I take I guess I took him out. Oh, he's got my, uh, echoes. Let's get our blood echoes back. I guess I should run back and... Because I think I should just level up at this point. Buy some stuff. Even though I hate to slog through this section again, we absolutely need healing and shit. Oh, we can't, can we? No, yeah, yeah, we can. There's a, there's a stairs. All right, so let's run back and let's level up some. I just don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get past this section where five of these cheap enemies come at me and... Definitely don't enjoy that at all. It's a shame because I was enjoying this up to this point. Wait. Where the fuck did she go? Uh, this is open. Aha. You must be the new hunter. Well, I Oop. am... Gehrman, friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This okay. was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Okay. Even the dog, should it please you. Okay, that's creepy. Don't ever talk to me like that again. This was what. Oh, you. Oh, there she is. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you did? Very well. Let me... Okay. Alright, I think that's a good amount of leveling, and then we just want to go and... Farewell, me. We're gonna... Bye. Okay. Is 
anything worth showing? Oh, we have this. We could probably do something with that. Oh, and we have a madman's knowledge. Running out of pebbles, too. German was all right. A little creepy, though. Very creepy. Not very, uh, not very likable creepy. So when do we actually get to upgrade stuff? Because, like, I kind of need to upgrade stuff. I mean, the level looks nice, I just don't like the decisions that were made in regards to it. Well, if I can, I still have yet to figure out where to go to do it. Because I have yet to see anybody who uh, offers upgrading. Table near German. All right, let's hack up some enemies. Whoa, okay. If I don't release it then. Okay, so it, it I just have to hold it till it happens. Alright. So quick run back here, hack this dude up. Ugh. All right, let's check by German and see if we actually can upgrade shit. Because I absolutely need... I think that's what we're going to end up having to, to uh, grind for as Blood Echoes so we can upgrade. Because before that area wasn't open, I guess it opened once we unlocked this section. I hadn't really checked ahead of time. Storage, huh? Place items in storage or retrieve storage items. Okay. Workshop. Okay. Fortify. Fortify. Uh, 240 blood echoes and bloodstone shard times three to fortify it. Yeah, sure. And wow, we can actually upgrade it quite a bit. Okay, that's good. We need more blood echoes and bloodstone shards are fine. Uh, all right, we haven't uh, lost any durability, so that's good. Memory alter. The workshop tool required for this task is missing. Okay, fair enough. All right, so we've upgraded. Oh, uh, can we upgrade armors? I don't think so. That's kind of the other thing I need. Is armor upgrading. Uh, 
Oh, we should probably buy more pebbles, shouldn't we? Alright. Now I think I've got a bit more of a fair... A little fairer advantage here. Still though, five enemies at once, come on, that's that's really cheap. Especially when I'm not even like near them. So we're gonna have to figure out something. Maybe we need to funnel them. Cause that is kind of a tight corridor that they come up through. And that might actually work in our favor, because I do have a long range weapon and they can't rush past each other. So we can sort of hack away at them one at a time that way. Oh yeah, that takes off a lot more. Yeah, okay, now we're fucking cooking. Now we're cooking here. I wanna see some hot damage outputs. Look at that. Fuck yes. Yes and more please, thank you. Yeah. And extra yeah. Let's just fucking drop him into the ground. So that was part of the problem was I had no clue where upgrading was. And we are still using starting equipment. Wasn't far away enough. I have an idea. Let's see how well this works. Yeah, that worked mighty fine. That did not. That was going badly. Okay, I got it. Thank you. I hate that fast attack, it's so dumb. Okay, fuck you! Ugh, damn it. It's another thing to watch out in your games, too, is uh, tracking. Um, which is when an enemy does an attack and you move away from it and the enemy follows you. Uh, oops, that was awful. So like if I do a swing and the enemy starts moving to the left and I spin around to the left to follow him, that's tracking. And you have to really be careful about how you have that dialed in. Because you could overdo it. And make it really, wow, that was creepy. Like a werewolf thing. And I feel sometimes that uh, enemies in this game, they have ridiculous, like, high, ridiculously high tracking. Oh. So that's, some, that's an attack we need to be wary of. Is It's a good attack, but can get us in a lot of trouble. Watch out for the explosives.
So like I said, a good attack, but that windup is very long. That's perfect. That really takes care of that section right there. This part, though... This part, though. Um, we can get around by rushing. Because let's be honest, that is a really awful space to be fighting the enemies. Ah, come on. Uh, I hate when they get that that death hit on you. Because then you can't uh, get your health back that you lost. Which is a good mechanic. The um, I don't know what they called it, but basically being able to regain health that you've lost by hitting the enemy within a very specific, I keep wanting to say certain and specific amount of time, is a cool mechanic. Alright, I guess you don't want to fight. So let's take a look at this hallway. Yeah, that's a fairly short, very small hallway. So if we go out on that balcony, we aggro all of these guys. Oop, okay. You could still get rally off a dead body. I don't want to rally off a dead body. Okay. Okay, there it goes. Oh, shit! I timed that badly. Holy shit, what? What? Wait, how am I? What? Ah, come on. Don't get cheap on me now. You just gave me a cheap advantage. Don't give it back to them. How the fuck did I do that? I even killed a guy while aiming away from him. There they are. Oh, nope, careful. So apparently we can do that swing in this tiny area. Yeah, this has a ridiculous hitbox. That was, that was ridiculous how that worked. That shouldn't have worked as well as it did. Alright, I hear them coming. Pretty sure I aggroed them. No? Alright. Alright. 
All that for a fucking bloodstone shard. And there is an item on that platform. So what do we say we go down? I got a trick to this here. We're going to go down, we're going to clear out the rest of these guys, and then we're going to do a drop on to that platform. Since we still can. This area is really... Wow, there's a lot of people just kind of trying to do this section, huh? Ooh, hey. Yeah, that's super cheap, and I'm I'm taking it. Like I don't I don't even fucking care. This game has gotten away with far too many cheap shots on me. I'm going to take all that I can. Let's move through this area just to be safe. That is a very weird tree. That is not a tree. That is a creature. Okay, so let's... Now that we've cleared this room... I didn't think I was going to be able to, honestly. I thought that I was just, like, done with this game right there perseverance and being just as cheap as the game does help which I mean there's lots of really good things to say about it I love I the combat's good um, it is your standard you know don't jam on buttons and try to like time your attacks kind of shit which I sometimes forget about in the heat of combat and I just start smashing buttons Cold blood do. When I first started doing this area, I thought that you had to jump down in front of the gunner section, which was part of my problem. I didn't do a good job of looking and seeing that. Oh, yeah, there's uh, stairs and shit. I also don't like that, you know, to get off of there, you have to take damage. Like, come on. Come on. Alrighty, so what's waiting for us here? Is there a boss? It's a big ass room. Ritual blood. I'm guessing this is for the. What are you doing there? Don't do that. Uh, I guess this is for that altar uh, behind German. Oh, what do you see? Despicable man beast. Alright. Wait, fuck. Are we near in range of Gatlin? Where is Gatlin, dude, anyway? Where the fuck are we, anyway? We're still an old yarn, old Yarnum, but I have no idea where we are in relation to anything. Some, some part of the, that, that was on me. That was not. Fuck you. It's awful if you want to skip the opening area, but not the right way through. I kind of gathered that. Oh, that is incredibly effective. So just a single one-handed strong attack takes them out. Well, the jump down, I, I I guess my problem was is I was running through it too quickly, and I wasn't able to get, like, my bearings. So by the time I jumped down, there's, like, tons of shit happening, and it was just, it was overwhelming. Um, which is something that, uh happens when you have autism is uh, if you have too much going on too much stimuli it, it fucks with your brain and like you start to have like it's very frustrating so like if you combine that with having like intermittent explosive disorder it's instead of me just kind of like shrinking back and kind of retreating i get aggressive and i yell and i freak the fuck out 
which you know you started seeing here on this stream is you know I'd start freaking out and I get angry uh, very quickly it's actually one of the reasons why I never finished Metal Gear Solid 4 it's just there's so much happening that it was too much for my senses and I just couldn't handle it okay where are we? We're somewhere. Somebody walking. We opened the door that did it. Oh! Oh! Hey! All right! Hell yeah! Shortcut. There we go. I was hoping that pressing circle wouldn't make me fall. All right, so shortcut has been unlocked. So we can skip a ton of area now. Go team Bloodborne. But am I missing something here? I want to be going over there, don't I? So is this, is this area just the shortcut and nothing else? Or maybe we need to do the ritual. I don't know, because we came all this way through. They have a lot of churches in this place. Oh, here we are. Walked right by it. All right, what bullshit's coming at me now? Yep. I hear them. Hey, no. He missed me, which I'm going to take as a positive sign. Oh! Aha! Wait, I hear another one. Or is that just it dying? I think it was just it dying. So we're nice and full up on blood vials, finally. What? Wait, what was that? Was that like the crystal lizard? And if so, will that respawn? Oh. That don't look good. Or friendly. These nice cobbles. Oh my god, there's two of them. Pungent blood cocktail. Oh crap. Oh, it's werewolves. Yeah, those are the werewolves that we fought on the bridge. Two of them. What are they doing? Great AI. Bomp. Yeah. Damn, he went right out of range. Ha. Hey, right up the ass. Somehow, wait a minute. So you can parry by hitting them with the regular weapon at the right time? Really? Wow, 
that was lucky. AI working in my favor right now. So you don't necessarily need the pistol, it just helps. I'm just making sure nothing's above me. Is this a boss? Remember, woman and fear beast. That's how you start a backstab. Wait. Doesn't open from this does not open from the side, so this is a shortcut. That's how you start a backstab. Charge smash on the butts. Well, luckily we're far the fuck away from Sir Dixalot and his stupid Gatlin gun. I do want to go back and cut him down though which we will once we uh, level up enough oh item that's why we come over here beast blood pellet medicinal pellet that grants short-lived beasthood ah fucking Let me get one fucking attack in. Fuck you. Fuck any mechanic that lets an enemy stun lock the player. Eat shit. Let's turn in this ritual thing. While it's loading, I'll be right back. Alrighty. God, let's try this all again. Wait, again. Mm -hmm. Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the cooperation of hunters from other worlds. Silencing blank ends such forms of cooperation. Alright, so now we have the ability to call players in. Consume insight and ring the old hunter's bell to enlist the cooperation of old hunters. What's an old hunter? Okay, we got some kind of thing. Let's use this. Holy chalice ritual, I see. I don't think we want to do that. So, when do we get more, like, equipment? Like, armor and weapons and shit? Like, so far we've gotten, like, no... Nothing. And usually by now, in a Souls game, you should have access to buying, like, new stuff. <laughs> okay, here we are. More weapons. But, like, these are all starting weapons.
I wish there was a stamina use. It doesn't tell you how much stamina it uses. <laughs> but anyway. Um... So that's 500. Do we have enough to max out this weapon? Yeah, we do. Oh, it keeps going, huh? Oh, we need twin bloodstone shards now. I see. All right, that's cool. I was gl I'm glad to see that it doesn't uh just run out after 3. So, twin blood shards, huh? All right, let's stock up on pebs. Oh wait, holy shit, hold on. Wait a minute. It said that it Max went into storage. So Yes Wait. But I don't see any I could have sworn that I was I was storing up uh quicksilver bullets, but I'm not. Okay, so so that's what the green bar stands for. It stands for storage. All right. All right. All right. I think we, I think we got this now. So now we can just bypass the rest of that nonsense. So we maxed out our weapon for as much as we can for this section, for this part of the game. Ah! Hmm. I guess because we were full up on health. Ah! That was a terrible start. I don't think so, buddy boy. Oh, good, we got a blood vial back. Thank you. All right, now it's picking up. Now that we've got our shit together. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Somehow he missed me there. Oh. Ah. Oh, got his shit back. Nice, 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 nice. Question remains, do we drop down and make a break for this shortcut, or do we cut through the, the main area all over again? Eh, we'll just cut through. Holy crap. So 
so there it went into storage. There it comes. There we go! Thank you! I was wondering if that was actually going to cause any damage or not. Let's see if I can get him just right. Oh, okay, so he comes in from the right side, my left. So I actually want to be going to his right, my left, to avoid his attacks. That's the smart way about it. in here and whack on these two idiots get out of here nerd put some more blood vials in See ya. I ain't got time for your shit. Alright, back to here. I think it's time we go back and fuck up that werewolf, huh? Oh, right. These guys. Oh wow, that was a lucky, lucky time there. There comes Werewolf. There he goes. It's all in the timing. So, werewolf number two. So, he has like a, a long delay after his attack. Which I can uh, exploit for a. Uh, for a, a heavy hit. Lots of bridges in this town. So that's where... Yeah, okay, this is where we fought the one werewolf. And it... Sheep killed us. So maybe we can make him appear again. There he is! Ah! Missed! Give me my shit back, you fucker. That's right. Avenged! Whoa! Yay! Okay, hi. Nope. Way out of range. Ah! Ah! 
Ah, oh, come on. That's the ticket. Ah. That did not go as well as I was hoping. So now we're in Werewolf Town. Probably a werewolf nearby. Oh, it's you guys. Oh, okay. I too like to roll into coffins and break them. Hmm. Some new armor would be nice. There he is. Ah! Ah! Doing your fast attacks! Okay. We sure open this door. Leading us... To a bridge, some scaffolding, and a staircase. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. That is a terribly hilarious uh, climbing animation here. This leads us back to the start. Yes! Okay, but is there a way to get back up on there? There is, and it's down. Down here. So now we can avoid that entire section altogether. By just coming over here and doing this. Wait. Oh no, we just gotta go down a bit more. Or not? Shit. Wait a minute. Because there's the platform that I wanna get to. I did this once. Okay. Alright. There we go. Alright, so that's how we get back to this section. There's just a lot of dropping down. Cool. Fire paper. Alright. What we're going to do next is we're going to level up. don't like that section that hasn't changed I still ha I'm happy I figured it out I'm happy that there is a proper way to do it and go about it and all that but I still definitely don't like that section and the way it was done So there's a weird creature that crawls through this spot, and it looks like the the one that was in the other area. So let's go upgrade our level. Let's level up and get us some more uh, healings. I feel like I might I might just need to focus on defense mostly.
Might as well get one skill rank in so we can actually use, uh... Actually, no, we don't need that at the moment. Okay. And we're gonna stock up on... Alright, so we're just gonna spend all of our, our shit, get some, uh, get some nice bullets going there. See, I want the top hat. Why can't, why don't we have any new armors yet? Could get a Canehurst ponytail. Like, how much, I, I guess, um, don't spoil too much, but, like, how much longer is it till we actually get new clothing and armor and shit? So what do you give? Oh, okay, so it's the blunt stone shard, nothing fancy. That. Uh, that was dumb. I, I dropped down too quickly. So this wasn't the place we're supposed to necessarily go, but rather just there for us to get our shortcut on. Which I am happy about. Okay. So this war wolf. No. There we go. And, whoa. Okay. Really flung his ass out of here, didn't we? out no and then I'll just kill you fuck you I hear werewolf Hey, 10 Quicksilver bullets. That would have been nice, like, a lot earlier. Something happens here, because somebody died. But you... <laughs> behind me? Behind me? Oh, yeah! What's behind us? I hear the clinking of werewolf shackles. I don't see a werewolf anywhere. Is it Bold Hunter's Mark? I forgot that I had those. Wait, did I absolutely just pass by, like, important shit over here? I keep feeling like I am p missing stuff. We haven't found the boss of this area yet.
There he is. Hey, you. Ah! I'll take my health back, dick. You're right there. Not anymore, you're not. Eat shit. So I think we covered this area. There's nothing else. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Right, because we came across this bridge. There's a werewolf and an item over there. Oh, hey, that werewolf dropped an item. So really, that just means we were pushing forward through this part of the town and on to the next. I will say, it for as much as I don't didn't like that section, I do love... I still love the art style of this game. I'm very big into, you know, London and London-y towns, cobbled streets and things like that. You know, Gothic architecture, Victorian architecture, all these kinds of stuff. Like, all this stuff really appeals to me. So the art direction in this game is fan damn -tastic. I think we're coming up on a boss here. It's very boss-like territory we're in. That's either a werewolf or a boss. Where are you? What are you doing? You're attacking a thing there, and you're getting your ass handed to you. I'm not seeing any notes. Oh, okay, boss time. Blood Starved Beast. Hey, Blood Starved Beast. You are cute. What do you do? You do big sweeping attacks, huh? Big sweeping attacks, alright. Are you going to attack, or are you just... Hey, 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 where'd it go? Oh, there you are. Yeah! Yes, 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 I'm happy about that. Ooh, wow, he's got a big parry window here. Fuck that one up. Nope. Whoa! Definitely missed the parry on that one. But I got it there. This one's way easier to parry than Gascoigne. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Yeah. That's not slow poisoning, that's like... Cheating. Fucking cheater. Whatever. Couldn't- I couldn't get a moment to actually... Fix the poison. And that's not slow poisoning, that's... Fast poisoning. I was losing health like crazy. Fuck you. Nah. I mean, other than that, it was interesting. Um, I don't like when bosses can do status effects. I think that sucks. Because it's already hard enough fight. And status effects just make it more annoying. But, um... I think I can do this one. Uh, but we're going to have to wait till the next one uh, to see that. That was awful. Awful death. Didn't like that. But uh, we'll get it. We'll get it next time. So uh, thanks, guys, for coming by watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next week for more Bloodborne. Later.